using Shane. only get you 15 years. I know. Some people find it comforting. Fuck's sake! I 
said out the back. Last customer didn't like what he saw. Comes out he had 50 Valium in his pocket. Took the lot. Right there in the booth. Do you ever think about the future? You sound like my wife. Got to think of the future. What if we have kids? Don't you want kids? Don't you? I did. I found out. Are you too, man? Yeah. For me, it was the best thing ever. I'm bully for you. Tell you or not married. It'll be all right. Maybe it won't happen. Maybe yours won't either, laughing boy. Think about that. This is the hard part, knowing how much to do, how much to get ready. I, I want to be the kind of person that you'll love. But what kind of a person is that? you just the way you are. I'm just 
not sure how long I can wait. something that makes me look crazy so we can be together <laughs> So, why exactly did you come to see me? Can someone change the future? Hmm? In what way? If they, uh, they knew what was going to happen, you know, if, if it was fate, their destiny, could they change it? Could someone, you know, change it for them? Um, a lot of people feel they are doomed to a certain kind of future. That's not what I meant. There's no such thing as fate. You make things happen. We all do. And we can choose to make different things happen at any moment. So, nothing's certain? Nothing's fixed. How could it be? Every choice every one of us makes has an effect on everyone around us. Are you worried about your future? Today, but I need to use the machine, yeah? I, ne I need to use the machine one more time to be sure. Just to... I need... I need to use the machine one more time. Please, just... just no, don't! Please! I need to see you! One more time, please! Please! Let me use the machine one more time! not true. They made it all up to keep us coming back. Well, they they want your money. I, I asked the psychiatrist. You told a psychiatrist? You used the machine? No. What are you seeing a psychiatrist for? I'm not seeing a... What does it matter anyway? It's, it's, it's all lies, you know? I 
whatever I saw, whatever I felt, never going to happen. I knew she wouldn't. They're not moving away now, are they? Uh, his job down south fell through. Waste of time, all that paperwork. Um, though we have some similar properties up the valley, if you're interested in it. She's not moving away now! Are you getting back on? But don't you understand what that means? Nothing changes! Nothing can be changed! You were wrong. <laughs> well, you, uh, you had me worried for a while with the, what you said. You know, nothing changes. Nothing can be changed. <laughs> Tell me, are you a good psychiatrist? People seem to think so. And you'll always do your best for people. I will always do what I think is best for you, Stephen. It's up to you then to react to that, to play your part. Howdy, man. I thought you were on early shift. So, your boss, what's he like in bed? Oh, no, wait. You don't do it for another few weeks. First, there's the glancing, the whispering, the touching. But I haven't done anything yet! Today, a 36 year old analyst was arrested for embezzlement. After using an illegal time booth, Mr. Hollinshaw says that he foresaw his business partner was about to embezzle the money himself. The case is bound to stir further controversy. On the latest time booth scandal, Robert Pendar reports. What did they invent those things for anyway? Who wants to know how crap tomorrow is going to be? You, you, you don't understand, you know, it's, it's not the machine, it's, it, it's us, you know, it's always been us, you know. Once we know what's going to happen, we, uh, we can't wait. We won't wait. We want it now. No, we, uh, I want her now. She's just a child. I, I, I've already known her as a woman. Which makes me feel sick in my stomach. You know, the machines were here to show us how uh, wonderful things could be, you know, if you just hold on and believe. Right. And you're going to find gold in the hills and buy off the whole no. town? No, no, no. They're going to lock me up in a madhouse. And, uh, well, the only question is why? Why, why, why? Or talking to yourself in cafes? <laughs> <laughs> Hearing voices. Acting crazy in the streets.
threatening children. Crazy people, hmm? Crazy isn't the word, uh, Yeah, I mean, what does it take to get locked up these days, huh? I mean, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Petrovsky, <laughs> she, uh, she killed her neighbour's dogs. She was only fine for, for animal cruelty. I mean, the old man who lives at the end of the bay, now, he's crazy as a coot. And neither of them came in here first and asked what my reaction would be. Now, I see two possibilities here. Either you are thinking about doing something that you know is wrong, and you have hope that I'm going to stop you, or you are playing some kind of game with me, and I don't like playing games with my patients. I'm just trying to make it easier for everyone. Make sure I get the help I need at the earliest opportunity. Hmm? I mean, if killing your neighbor's dog won't get you locked up. You are not going to kill anyone, Stephen. I have another appointment. Stephen! Sorry. But it'll be wonderful when we're together. I promise you. I just have to be absolutely sure it happens. Dang you, screw. 
girl. Following the vicious attack at the service station early today, police are appealing to the woman's husband to give himself up. Roadblocks have been set up and a search for the stolen bus will begin at first night. Yeah, won't be so bad. Knowing that you're out there. Growing up. Becoming a woman. A woman who will love me. Giving me something to live for. What's it like using a time booth, Stephen? I thought about it when they were first developed. I just met my wife, wondered how things would turn out for us. Who's it going to be, Stephen? Your shrink, your guru, your nurse. The love of your life. And all you have to do to get there is be in the right place at the right time. Oh, but I know. I'm crazy, right? Is that what you're expecting me to tell them? Lock him up and throw away the key? You have to. How would you live with yourself otherwise? many of which are children under six, have today been giving police statements following yesterday's assault on a petrol pump attendant. The 43-year-old victim of this unprovoked attack is recovering in hospital and is said to be in a stable condition. Jonathan Bayliss, the newly appointed station manager, has been at her bedside since the attack. Police are refusing to confirm that a time booth was involved. In a tragic footnote to this story, the stolen bus was in a collision with another vehicle in the early hours of this morning. Early reports suggest that the bus driver and the two adults in the car survived, but their eight-year-old daughter, Bryony Lafferty, was killed. It seems clear to me that in four 
first psychiatric treatment in a secure environment is the only reasonable sentence that I can give.